We are in the ship as Evelyn, or not Evelyn, Mia, as Mia. That boy is, uh, dead. <laughs> we have two entire rounds. That's, that's nice. Love that. And we've got creepy Carlies out here doing, doing creepy Carly things. So that's also fun. Oh my God. There's like, oh shit. Right, that, um, okay. That was nice of them to kind of just appear. That, that was cool, I, I appreciate that. Muties. Working on the furniture, nice dude. Oh my god, I actually killed it with two bullets, let's go. Psycho stimulants, that'll actually probably be useful. Oh, I should probably read this. Must have been about 1950 when I heard the scream. Went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me. Huge, shark like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Yeah, valid. Uh, I did not read the first page. <laughs> Too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was that all in my head? Woke up at 19.30. There's some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. Written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. Well, shit. Uh, okay, I can't bust that open because I don't have a knife. So that's great. Uh, ammo would be superb. What is this? A life vest. Okay. Cool. Some sort of vest. Okay, sick. I know there are, like, big critters that come after us. So, um, yeah. Would be nice to get some, some ammo. Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess a, a half, or I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although there's one thing that's different... This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. It must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Jim, you got some ammo, bro? Come on. There's nothing in here? Seriously? Just absolutely nothing that's nice appreciate that game yep that's 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 <laughs> howdy coming in here big boy come on uh. no thank you pass hard pass Bullets, bullets, bullets. A fuse. A fuse and bullets. A fuse and bullets. Chem fluid, that's not bullets. Could take the psychostimulants. That would actually show us if there's like stuff lying around. And there's not, so that's cool. I still can't break that because no knife, which is. Awesome. So, what room needs the fuse? It's this one right here. Yeah. Wow, hello! Go! Okay, she doesn't have a watch or anything either. So I can't tell what her health is at. Isn't that just great when you just can't defend yourself?
I can only imagine why people don't like this part of the game. I mean, you know. Completely defenseless. Uh, hi, Evelyn. Uh, I want to go in that room. Oh, I'll kill you, bro. Why? Watch the tape. Uh, fine. I think this one's required. I could be wrong. Alan, you're getting worse. Yes, you must have infected me during the attack. You're not too far gone. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. She didn't attack you? It's part of her inbreeding protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue sample. Find her. I fix this. Okay, Evie. Where are you? So we got a box. We have a machine gun and a knife. Uh, I'm gonna swap these. Why? There we go. So waffle, if you don't mind me asking, how does the how does the microphone sound today? I was messing with it because I I had gotten it to sound correct in other programs, but didn't really have time to test it with OBS. Like, does it sound super overpowering? Does it sound like it's peaking at all? Special Operations Division, Director Allen, Droney, and Caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I should have phrased the question, do I sound more annoying than I normally do? Glad to know that I do not. In the elevator. Better check the rest of this floor, but she's in the elevator. What do we got? Supplements. All right, that's good to hear. It sounded okay, like when I did. I did very, very brief testing before I went live, and it sounded acceptable. I'll probably have to tweak it some more to get it perfect again, but that's okay. As long as it doesn't sound like I'm talking through a megaphone, then we're good. Uh, that was a weird stutter. Okay. It's locked. Nice. Why wouldn't it be? That's gross. We can escape through there if we need to. Really? She's vomiting. Damn. I'll have to reset. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're going to be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right. We need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Chumps. Oh. Hell no. You unlocked it. You already know there's about to be something in here. Where are you at, boy? Oh, maybe not. Actually, I think we need to go through here. Maybe? Oh, no. We didn't have to, but we did. Uh, 
thought there was one standing at the end of the hallway down there. That's the room with Alan. Little girl, get back here. Hey. Right. Should have just popped her. Can we go in the elevator? Oh, I knew it was coming. Some bitch. Back here. This machine gun's actually okay. Uh, oh, I do not know which. S2, I guess? Mm -hmm. Go down before you go up. Oh. Okay. Ew. Uh, I think I know what's through here. Woo! Hell no, nah, bro. Back up. I don't believe that you're dead. I still don't believe that you're dead. What? Yellow. That's one of the big boys. What? That boy just disappeared? That's awesome. Okay, we've got some of the, uh... Oh, remote bomb, never mind. I was looking for some of the, the fluid. Uh, I knew there'd be somebody around here. Howdy. Nice. Oh, yeah. We'll save those remote bombs for a special occasion. Also, I don't know. I think I'm going the right way. Maybe I am. I don't remember which floor we're supposed to go to first, so... I'm going to this one. We still don't have any of those. Might be some in here, though. M fluid. Okay, now we got some. Corrosive. Purple Kool-Aid. Uh, I think this is where... What's his face is? Evie, I'm not mad. I'm mad at you. What did you call me? I don't want to live in the lab anymore. I want an house, and I want you to be my mommy. No. Okay, Evie. I'll be your mommy. Just, just come back with me right now, okay? Oh no. Where are you, Evie? Oh. Damn. <laughs> not gonna let me. Capper? What do you want, Alan? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things friends? are everywhere. I told you so. Are you okay? Which is great about getting the food back. Okay, can we open the door? Shit. Yeah, I knew you were coming. Let's use a bomb. Where are you at? Oh, hell yeah. Use a bomb right here. Boop. Bitch. That's awesome. So we got a corrosive door there. Right here. It's going to require one or two corrosives. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, nice. And we got another one in here. Plus some ammo. Or some more bombs, I should say. And ammo. Nice. Yeah, let's make a first aid mid just to have. Supplements. Yeah, okay. Can't do anything with those just yet. Ah, uh, ew. 
Howdy. Wow. Fuck it. You still alive? Are you? I have no idea. Okay. You suck, Evelyn. So is this going to tell us where she goes? Okay, so now she's on floor two. Or actually three. Oh, so I guess we can't go to floor two now. Okay. That's great. And we're on floor what now? Two. Oh, okay. This is where we just were in the present. Oh no, it's where we were with Alan. Where are you at, Alan? I don't trust shit. Uh, we can open this up. Sure. How many corrosives have we got? Two. Alright, that's fine. It'd be nice if there was another one in here. No, but I will take remote bombs. Right, that I will. Yep. Howdy, sir. I'm actually surprised I didn't take damage right there. Another one of these things. Even more remote bombs, damn. We're not gonna have to fight anything. That's fine. There's a chem fluid right there. If it would let me pick it up. So we can go through here. I knew your ass was coming. Okay. Come on. Oh, you got a friend. Well. Okay. So we can go up to the first floor now. Or third floor, get us. Evelyn, I'll kill you. What's up, Alan? How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing Mark died. <laughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts me. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, let me call you that. She's Evie, trying to take control. Evie. You have to fight her. <laughs> Evelyn, 
Right. Uh, one thing really quick. Wanted to change the frame cap there. There we go. Okay. There's nothing over here? Hmm. Is this where she makes the video for... What's his face? Ethan? Oh, wait, no, because Ethan's on the ship with us. So I really don't know. Ethan. You were right. I did lie. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this... Stay away. Stay away. Forget that you ever knew me. Have a good life. Okay, so the the vi it's the same video they play in the beginning. That's not what she sent to Ethan. That's something else. Got it. That's nice. This is great. Love this for us. Oh, hell no, bro. Are you serious? We'll be together forever. Aha. Oh, pre-rendered cutscene. Do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, I could save. Definitely cool with that. Is this open now? Oh, I guess this is where I have to go. Never mind. Duh. So we can head down that way. Uh, sure. Contents have been taken. Wait, no, so that whole segment was in the past. So she did send that to Ethan. Okay. Oh shit. Or she recorded it for him. I don't know if she I don't know if he ever saw it necessarily. Okay, we don't have a lockpick for that. Can I make ammo now? Shit, thank god. I'll make a health as well. How are we oh we still don't have a watch to tell us how we are on uh HP and whatnot, okay. Well, I'll take it. So now we're heading this way. So we need a thing that allows us to open that. All right. And we got, we got ammo for the machine gun, so probably need some more of that corrosive to actually to actually uh, get the machine gun back so to speak okay I remember this part of the game sucking because there's minions maybe it still works 
That's where we were. That's where we were. Hey, it's Ethan. On S2. I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. Holy shit. Stop it, Evelyn. Like, what is stopping these people from punching? Punch her in the mouth, dude. I don't understand the hesitation. I also don't remember. I know there's uh, dudes that spawn here, but I don't remember if there's like ammo or anything. Gunpowder? Shit, okay. I don't have a, a chem fluid to make my stuff, but... So these two areas kind of lead to the same thing. Right? Something like that. Something like that. What you got? An herb. Okay, not ideal. We were already there. So we still need to find either a staircase or a little tool thing. Is it a bomb that I can take? Nice. Okay. Cool. Uh, so we still need to find the little cool thing. Maybe it's in here. Captain's cabin. And there is the machine gun in there. The crank. A map. So we need like the captain's key or whatever it's called. Hmm. All right. I'm really glad that didn't kill me. Lug wrench, that's what it's called. Here's something. Oh yeah, it's down here. Yep, what up, dude? Nice. I wanna go up here, though. Oh yeah, because there's a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless. That works. Okay. Woo! Scared me, boy. Mm -mm. Fuck up out of here. In the microwave is a chem fluid. Gunpowder. 16 years since the nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. Is there like a cool picture or something in there? Not really. All right. Oh, we can actually go up here now. Hmm. Yeah, they were referring to the first few games. Motherfucker, got seven bullets. One. Two. Alright. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got anything else in here? Mm oh. Machine gun ammo. Whoop de doo. Why is it dark all of a sudden? More gunpowder? That's what we need. It won't open. Nice. Awesome. Oh. Hold up. Do they have to match? Is that what it is? Hey. 
Hey. Some corrosive. Okay. Bless. Um, so we can go back there and get that. Got the guest room that I we haven't tried to open yet. Oh, we can go get the um. No, never mind. I was gonna say we can go get the machine gun, but no, we can't. Jk. I think this is where the... Okay, I'll definitely take the bombs. There's the key that we needed. Perfect. And I think that was a strong chem fluid we just picked up. So I could make some enhanced ammo if I really wanted to. I don't. Alright, so now off to the guest room. Hi. What's up? That really didn't detonate the box. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got a thing. A bomb. There's a save thing in here. Cool. Ooh, some handgun ammo. Thank you. I already read this. Anything in here? Oh. I guess I could put stuff in there. Uh. Do we need this? Oh, we can't even put that in there. Cool. Um. Nah. We're fine. Okay. I. I kind of want to go grab the um, gun really quick. I hear one of the molded, like, being a D-bag. Oh, we can go see what's in here. Hi, why, why are you here? Why? Like, go somewhere. You weren't here before. Uh. Why do I feel like this is where I'm supposed to go? I ain't going over there. What the hell? Well, no, it has to be optional because... There better actually be something here. I can't see shit. You already know something's in there, bro. The fuck? Nothing. Nothing. Red. What is this? Boy, if you don't get out of here, what the hell? Is that a big dude? Oh, shit. That's not good. A puker? Oh. Brother, not cool. Power cable. All right, let's let's get the hell up out of here. I'm gone. Got a bonus corrosive. Bonus bomb. Uh, that doesn't open. That's not cool. Where'd you go, big boy? I really don't know where he is. That is just my favorite. I hear him. So we got a power cable. What the hell does the power cable do? 
We still don't have a lockpick for this. I'm not even gonna bother. Like, no? It's another save room in here? Or another spot to save? Yeah. In case we get clapped. Alright, so we want to go up to the fourth floor. Now, I know there's dudes up here. Put it in here, maybe? No. I heard you. Bastard. All right. So, the captain's room. Captain's room. Yeah, right there. Nice. This thing's kind of a laser, honestly. Um, that that is the wrong item. Key. And that gets us a bomb and the machine gun. Oh yeah. Okay. Is we'll make what we can, right? Now we got plenty of ammo. I'm good with that. Alright, so. This is third floor. Second floor. Oh, here we go. Now we just need a fuse to get the elevator working. Okay. Which I'm assuming is down here. So I needed to go that way. Bitch, don't don't run. Alright. Come on down. Next. Fuck, oh, bitch. The recreation room. Well, actually, we should probably check all of these rooms again, because they've got boxes in them. Yeah. I may as well pull this out, too. Absolutely nothing useful in here. Okay. We got this optional area. Oh, okay. You can carry more items. And you get a corrosive back. Nice. Bomb, bomb, nice. Howdy, Sparta. Thank you for the follow. I assume that's good, Dan, oh boy. Um, wasn't there someone in here that we took out? I don't remember. Come here, you, you chump. All right. So we can take this fuse and take it back to the uh, the elevator, which is there. I'll also do a save, just because. 
All right, cool. And then once we've got the elevator repaired, we can go down to uh to where Ethan is. Nice. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we're already on the first floor. <laughs> I vaguely remember them spawning a thing behind us. I really hope that didn't kill me. Okay. Did we kill him? You see that thing up there? There it goes. Oh, it kind of like glitched out though. Fell through the map. Well, hopefully it doesn't respawn somewhere and gank us. Dude, they are just like strapping us up with bombs. Like, we don't even need all these other weapons. Just got bombs for days. Like, look at this. Man, I'm not mad, shit. I think they spawn a big dude here. If memory serves me correct. How you doing, Billy? Come on. Yup. Oh! Gross. Hello, sir. I'm gonna just let you borrow that. Is there more coming up here? No. I killed him, though. Shit. I should probably heal. Handgun ammo. You got a handgun ammo. We do have one more of these, don't we? Got yeah, two more. An antique coin, okay. It'll definitely be for Ethan and not her. Okay, that's where you are. I'm good. What's in here? <laughs> More bombs, because you know we didn't have enough of those. How many we got? Six again? Hell oh, yeah. Not mad about it. These things are cool. Do something. Uh, no. Cool. Ethan. 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 Hey, shh. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped it. But what do you mean? I'm no killer son. Neither is Marguerite. Nor my boy Lucas. Or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? And what did she do to you? <sighs> she infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... 
She forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to. Oh, you're, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key. All right? You find her. You stop her. Free me. Free my family. Please. away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Me. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not going to hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? Hmm. You could literally see the character models disappear. But anyway. Yeah, I like that little cutscene with uh, Jack and Zoe. Kind of gives some insight to what the hell is going on here. It's a, honestly a pretty cool story overall. I'll, I'll give them that. It's all your fault. No, I don't think so. What I do need is my damn weapons back. What I need, oh, got a uh, an achievement. I think we get our weapons back up here. Yeah, this upcoming section of the game is is pretty fun. Well, one we're playing as Ethan again. So thank you for that. Uh, that's gross. I cannot imagine how that smells. Helicopter. Kind of. I don't think the model loaded correctly there. That looked kind of weird. Very creepy. And we got ourselves a convenient box. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Twan and Beckford are dead. Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. Can't wait to get back to the old country. Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dolby. Uh -huh. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Probably. Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. 
However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Okay. So... Lab, swamp, ship. Ship, swamp, lab, I guess. I can't really see what that says back there. So we still need nine total coins before we can get the magnum. I don't know if we have nine coins. We've taken Mia's things. Yeah, with the exception of her backpack, I don't think. So we've got this, which we have to keep on us, apparently. Uh, okay. So we have knife and survival knife. Uh, I'm assuming the survival knife does more damage, so we'll take that one. Uh, we got her handgun. Is there a big difference between the two? Not entirely sure. Shotgun, we'll take the M37. And then, I think in the grenade launcher, the machine gun is not going to be that useful to um, Ethan, so I'll take the grenade launcher. Got a ton of handgun ammo, and shotgun shells for that matter. Holy crap, man. Alright, we'll take... If we've got three strong first aids, we may as well take those. We could make more health, not that we need to. We could make more ammo, not that we need to. Uh, we could make more flame rounds, that I will do. We've only got three antique coins. Hmm. That sucks. Okay. Well, let's make the flame round thing. Throw one in there. Dude, we just have so much ammo. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the coins. I mean, I guess I can start depositing them, right? Yeah, we may not have enough to get it, but that's okay. I'd, I'd rather have those two items anyway, so. Let's give ourselves a save. We'll get moving. Another chem fluid, nice. Why not? Hello, friends. I've literally got shotgun shells for days, so. He's still not dead. He is. There's another one back there. Come on, champ. Strong. More shotgun shells, because why not? Why wouldn't there be? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. I thought he was like a glowing one. <laughs> nah. Cool. Into the mines. Hey there, Xenomorph Master. Thank you for following, dude. Welcome. Into the mines.
Hey, Sparta. How's it going? Oh, that could have been bad. Wow. Let's see if we can trick him into uh, walking through here. Huh. You suck. Going over. There's another one right here. It's going. Yeah, it is going. I'll say that. You ever played this game before? I don't know if I've ever asked you if you've uh, played good old Red and Evil. <clears throat> yeah, I just had lunch myself. I had um, it was a turkey, turkey bagel, or it was turkey and American no. How did I order turkey and cheddar cheese on an onion bagel? With pickles and chipotle mayo. It was really good. I gotcha. Yeah, we're towards the end here. Now. Bastards. Yeah, I played this one other time. Before this, so. Now I heard you, bitch. There's so many of you. I think I got shotgun shells for days. I think we're kind of at that point, you know. Basically, every Resident Evil game, you reach a point where uh, you could sort of leave the handgun behind. Could load the enhanced ammo in here since I've got it. I need a box. Welcome back, Waffle. Good old, good old Dano. Almost got me. Alright. That one did get me. Alright, we're still good on health. Okay. So this is like the makeshift lab section of the game. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie, La La Land, and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She, think, she thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta get because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly, she's getting gray hairs. That's supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Ooh, some accelerated aging. Some Metal Gear Solid 4 nonsense. Alright, what do we got? This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-Series weaponized assets. Hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. 
During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co out the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations, and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. <laughs> 10 minutes after dose, death. 12 minutes after dose, cell calcification. 5 minutes after dose, vomiting. Ew. Dark acquired. E. Necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model, used only for disposable, disposal of E series assets. The toxin must be first stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E series cell into the necro necrotoxin container. That's what this is, right? Yeah. That gives you the necrotoxin. Nice. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Next boss was later folded and all its assets diverted into this project or to this project. What makes this project markedly different from a conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks blank organization chopping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank blank. The remarkably progressed vicarian evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycete. This is kind of a foreshadowing to what we're going to see in Resident Evil Village. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamycete genome to a pre stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of, that of a roughly 10 year old girl, to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mutamycete blank from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Pseudomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. By the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body blank. That is messed up.
Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms into mycelia, fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here, strictly speaking. There are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Weed up. <laughs> hey, Crooked. Thank you, dude, for the tier one sub there. 30 months for you. That's two and a half years. Really appreciate it, dude. Hope you're having a good day so far. Uh, administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cell is already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its, enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E necrotoxin, which blanks in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme of her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantine upbringing, her parents' love. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Are you all visiting your parents, like this weekend, or supposed to be? Resident Evil's going well, yeah, we're, we're nearing the end of the game here, so. Hmm. I kind of don't need this right now. Oh, so we just like have a spare magazine chilling? Is that what it is? Hmm. Now, if you don't mind me asking, Crooked, have you had have you had it before? Is this your first time getting it? All right, let's do a save. Okay, some more enhanced ammo that I. Didn't necessarily need. Um, we could put the other ammo away and just use the enhanced since we have so many shotgun shells. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, we had more remote bombs so now i've got eight of those bad boys holy hell dude we've still got three strong thing of things separating agent you know what i could do i have an idea Combine this with this to get a strong chem fluid. And 
then we could make even more enhanced ammo. So now we've got a bunch of enhanced ammo. And then that we don't need, and we'll just take some regular first aids. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, okay. So we can't go this way. Swapple, is this more stuff that you found at like a, um, not a yard sale, but you know what I mean? Flea market? That's the word I was looking for. There's this stuff you just had and they're just repainting. Stuff you've had, gotcha. Yeah, I've seen some of the pictures that you sent, dude. You're, you're doing a really good job. Sort of restoring that stuff or making it look uh, nice again, so to speak. Evelyn, I'll mess you up, bro. She said, die. Oh yeah, dude. Nothing wrong with a little side hustle. I wish I had one sometimes. Bitch, back up. I know you didn't die from that, but... You. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of that stuff. You're right. You are right. Dude, we have so many shotgun shells. Which is nice, considering the fact that you can't make shotgun shells in this game. It's nice that... We've stocked up, holy hell. What are you? Oh yeah. All right, I don't wanna get clapped up here. There you go, yeah, don't, don't feel pressured to stream, definitely. I pushed mine back about 30 minutes because, you know, we got home at like 1130 and I was like, man, I need, I need just a minute to, <laughs> to chill before I go live. And that was well worth it. I'm feeling pretty good now. So yeah, I definitely say do what you got to do. You're stocking us up on shotgun shells. I know we're playing on easy, but still, damn. And we've got nine of the, we got ten of those bombs. <laughs> What's funny though, like with this game, there's not like a, a traditional final boss that you would find in RE games. So the fact that we have all of this is just really nice. Uh, I am hitting all the wrong buttons. There we go. Did that not kill you? No, it did. Didn't kill you. I want to save some of these bombs for just a bit later, but it's okay to use some of them now. Is there something I could grab right there? No. I kind of like the music that's playing right here. It it almost sounds witchery. Close, not not quite, but close. Yeah, so it's boss fight time. Well, boss fight. One of these billies. Oh my. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Yellow. Y'all good? 
Look at you, you big dumbass. That work? Oh, sure didn't. Ow, ow, ow. He's probably dead now. Maybe. Maybe not. Now he might be. Burner fuel. Why did I take that? Alright, he's dead. Cool. Shotgun channel. I'm getting rid of that burner fuel. I don't even want it in my inventory. Kind of a pro tip for those that uh, haven't played this game before. When you're healing, you can kind of you can see your um, health on your watch. And as soon as you see it turn green, if you block, it cancels the rest of the animation and lets you go back to what you're doing. Kind of nice. Works in village too. We're almost at the end here, which means we'll definitely be starting Village today because I'm not going to be playing any of the DLC for this game. So, oh, they gave us a map, nice. Bunch of machine gun ammo that we don't need. I just never really liked the DLC for this game, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, but here we are. We've been here before. A little Evan, though. I'm sure of it. Oh, you better back up. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I hear the thing. The hell? There you are. Yeah, and then Ethan was all like, oh, you should just take a nap right here. So I guess that's supposed to be the big reveal that the old lady is Evelyn. I mean, through context clues, you could probably figure that out, but whatever. So this is the guest house. Yeah, this is like where we started. Right? Maybe. Oh my god, you can see Ethan's face right there. Okay, nice dude. Oh yeah. The hell do you want, Evelyn? Ugly ass. No, this is your dusty ass phone. Whack. Mommy's turn to kill you. Well, no, see, actually what happened was <laughs> they're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nice. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Oh wow. Nice. That's not weird. Ah! Oh shit.
Come here, you chump. Oh, nice. Ow. Christ. Think I'm playing with you? God damn it. Leave me alone, woman. I I can't go through there. Wow. Don't do it. Gotcha. She all of a sudden have an accent. Nope, I'm good. Ow. Thanks for that. Is that really all it took? Again, I know we're playing on easy, but <laughs> damn. Him. Her. There we go. Ow. Albert 01. This gun's really cool. I think it's supposed to be Wesker's Samurai Edge. Yeah, it's a Star's weapon. You can see it. That's cool. And that's game see that's kind of what I meant there's not like a real final boss in the sense that like you need to save all of your ammo for it hey oh get ending one yeah so there are two endings they're pretty similar but
get on? They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, the door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing her. But now she's back and wants to start over. With all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Alright. Can we skip this? I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. I really like the song, but <laughs> I don't want it to get copyrighted, so we'll skip the credits. Uh here we are. Easy difficulty. Five hours, nine minutes, forty-five seconds. That's really not that bad at all. And that's all new game too. Like that's kind of nuts. That's this game's that short. Hmm. Three restarts. So we died what three times? Trying to think. What were uh, weren't two of them like? Oh, they were all during the um clown section or whatever. Uh, we got fourteen out of twenty of the little statues, eleven out of eighteen antique coins. So we we definitely could have gotten the magnum, but we didn't. Thirty out of thirty two files. Cool. And then we unlocked the Albert weapon uh, which does not have infinite ammo from the get-go but we can at least use it in madhouse difficulty awesome so quick recap of the extra content uh there's not a hero um so it says ethan's struggle is over but there's still one last mess to clean up and the job falls to chris redfield a veteran in the fight against bioterrorism now so basically lucas is still alive um and so this shows Chris going in and, and finishing that job, so to speak. Um, it's an okay DLC in terms of gameplay. In terms of story, it does, it definitely does add. But in terms of gameplay, it's kind of eh. um, band footage. I wish I could see what all is in there. There's, um, I guess, technically two that are canon so there's the there's the daughters dlc which kind of shows how jack and marguerite and everybody came to find evelyn um i don't think it's very long it's it's kind of cool and then there's the is it the bedroom dlc i think is what it's called um and it's another sort of event with clancy um, i guess it does add to the story but nothing much um, and then there, there's a couple of like bonus little mini game kind of things that don't really add to the story at all. Excuse me. And then um, we have End of Zoe. So it says weeks after Not of Hero, a new danger has emerged. Jack's brother, Joe Baker, must face this danger with his bare fist and put an end to his family suffering once and for all. So basically, the canon ending is the one that we got, and you know Ethan was like, "I'll send help." Well, they, they do send help. They send people to come back after Zoe and, well, Joe ends up being a part of it as well. So, again, it does add to the overall story, but I don't own band footage and I don't own End of Zoe. I do own Not a Hero because it's free. I just don't really like it that much. So, maybe if I had all the DLC, I'd play through them all. Yeah, maybe we can do that another time. If I can get, like, all of the DLC uh, cheap or something like that. But, yeah. We'll go ahead and call it there for RE7.